hello friends in this video we are going to discuss about another kind of uh, layout and this layout is called as grid pane grid pane last time you saw it was stack pane and now it is grid pane so the structure is everything is same i'm just creating one object of the grid pane and i'm naming it grid pane root equal to new grid pane so this is i'm creating when you see underline then you can just enter alt and enter now i create one button yes so this is a grid pane grid as its name suggests it should be grid means arrangement of rectangular arrays just like the matrices rows and columns so here i have one label this is also object of the type label 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 equal to new label enter name so label are just that specific uis which have a text on them okay just they can be clickable also sometimes but they are just simply represent a text it's like a constant kind of a text is written on to them and is there so now next is text field where you can receive some information from the user then i have another label another text field so i'm just trying to make one grid small possible way just only to explain you that how you can make different kind of guis where how you can receive the data from the user and how can your program work on it this is called the gui so if you make a good gui application a lot of user interfaces a lot of functionalities are needed but right now we are working with two labels two text field and one button and they will all be placed on a grid pane and the name of that grid pane here in this case is root so i have already created one object of this root and now i'm creating a scene so scene scene equal to new scene i'll pass root here new scene root and then i have to mention the size of the scene means the window that is here in this case right now i'm putting 450 and 200 so i'm just adding the elements into the root so it since it is a grid pane now see how it's added root dot add row zero but the first row then i place the label and a text field so in the row one we have a label and a text field another row i have another label so that will be called as one zero row one row and then two row like that so beginning from zero label two and text field 2 its name is txt name 2 and then root dot add row i'll put 2 comma button because only one is left and just uh, you understand so it will have a, a first row which is the label enter name a text field for entering name and then i write 2 dot button we can add the event to the button and then i'll create the primary stage when the root is done then primary stage dot set scene and pass the object of the scene class then you can provide the title to the stage primary dot set title various functions are there lot of things you can do with them copying editing this that blah is every possible thing you can do with those stages so right now we are trying to make it simple slowly slowly we will go into the deeper level of complexity l a b e l that's why these roads uh, red Level now it's ready. 
and this is called grid pain keep it in your head grid pain previous video you saw stack pain now it is grid pain so these are the various layouts how you can arrange the user interface elements onto the grid now you see the structure looks like a grid which have a label and since in this program i haven't attached since we are discussing only the layout i haven't added any feature to this so just continue practicing with us and then only you can understand slowly slowly we will try to uh, make it different like uh, making a calculator profit loss calculation simple interest calculation receiving the data from the text field calculating and then displaying it on the labels or through the pop-up windows just like that so this is all about this video subscribe to our channel and just i'm trying to say again and again unless my friends you practice you will never understand it and this is going to be a very powerful thing and it has a lot of features so this is called the stack no this is called the grid pane so we have discussed two layout stack pane and grid pane in the next video we'll talk about the flow pane